He is feeling so much line. Oh my gosh! He is out almost 600 feet. He's out over 600 feet right now. He is just a running. I have never fought a fish this strong in my life. Oh, almost 700 feet now. 768! 770! Keeps on going! Holy cow! Go! Go, boy! Wasn't expecting this. We're going after him. Fishing's really, since I've been a kid, uh, I believe it was sixth grade, they had us write up a little thing about what you wanted to be when you got older. And uh, everyone wrote these big long letters about what they were gonna do and everything they were gonna do. And uh, mine consisted of uh, a few words, become a pro fisherman. Uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. I wanted to come out here, I wanted to be a professional, I wanted to be the one showing people how to catch fish and I wanted to be successful at it. And I really thought ever since day one that I could have that potential to be that guy, um, to come out here and consistently catch fish and be successful. When I can sit here and watch a girl like Avery spend 45 minutes to reel in a fish as big as she caught and my hands are shaking just as much as hers trying to get the fish in the net. That's what makes me believe I can come out here for the rest of my life and do this. Sturgeon, 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 sturgeon. There's four of them right there. Really? She got four sturgeon all right in this. I mean, that's this area the size of probably your living room right there. So what we're doing here is we're just kind of tracking up river a little bit. I found that up current's a little bit easier for me to manage my uh, chart speed mm -hmm. and get a better definition of the fish. Um, I mean, as you can see here, I mean, it is, it's like a video game. <laughs> you look at the screen, where are the most fish? It looks like in this area here. And what you can do is you can scroll over right to where I see all these fish mm -hmm. and go right in the middle of them. Just hit waypoint. Waypoint's been created. I'm gonna go back to my chart. That's where I just put my waypoint, which is right between another waypoint and another one. Cool. So it's been a continuous spot. I found that this, some, some of these fish are kind of hanging out here. Um, so we're just gonna anchor in this area. Um, there's, there's, it looks like there's fish pretty much all over. What we'll do is we'll probably start out a little bit deeper. Maybe as the night goes on, if we don't get anything or it's slower, we'll move in towards shore a little bit. Okay. But I think we got a good chance what we're doing right here. Let's go catch one. All right, Avery, we're all set up. We got the lines out. We're gonna be running four lines today and just your typical bottom rig. What you're using is just a uh, egg sinker that slips on the line, that goes uh -huh. down to a barrel swivel with approximately 16 inch leader with a seven knot hook at the end. Okay. And uh, we're just using a mixture of worms, cut bait, uh, minnows, and we're just leaving that real still right down on the bottom. And the key is to uh, get that scent out there in the water. Them fish will kind of zigzag back and forth up the current till they smell that. They'll zero in on it, they'll come up, and they do a little nibble, a little <laughs> tiny nibble. A big fish with a little bite. Let's do this. You just don't seem like you're very excited. Are you excited? I'm excited, okay? All right. I've been waiting for so long to do this. Excellent. Actually, we got a fish biting over oh. here. Oh, I don't know what it is, but there's a fish. Yes! Whoa! That was cool! All right, looks like it might be a sturgeon. Yes! So just settle down a little bit. Let's see what he's doing. Okay, he's taking line out. So let's just let him take some line. This okay. is where you rest. Yeah. This is where you take it easy and relax for a minute. When he runs, you relax. When he gives you line, you take it. This How are you so feeling exciting. right now? This What's is it feel so like? exciting. My heart is pumping with adrenaline. Does it feel big? Yes, it feels big. Oh my gosh, he's feeling line. He is feeling so much line. Oh. Just remember, this is your time to relax. Because once he stops, then you're going to have to work hard. It does not like giving up. Oh my goodness. Where's this fish going? I don't know. Oh, this is so insane. So 
we're gonna put a little bit more pressure on. We're gonna try to slow him down if we can, which it doesn't look like it's working. It looks like he's going faster. Oh my God. I think he is going faster. Well, line counter's approaching 500 feet. How much line do we have on this? About 1,200. <laughs> That's not very good. Oh my gosh! All right, you're gonna have to get up for a second. He is out almost 600 feet. He's out over 600 feet right now. He is just a running. I have never fought a fish this strong in my life. Oh, almost 700 feet now. All right, you're gonna start getting some line in a second. Okay, 768, 770. James not going! Holy cow! Go! Go, boy! Wasn't expecting this. Wasn't it in the plan. We're going after him. Alright, so what we had to do with our fish is uh it doesn't happen very often. This fish is still going. This fish took over, god, 800 feet of line on one shot, just kept going. Um, so in this case, I keep about 1,200 feet of line on the reel for these occasions, um, which is just enough to give me time once he hits about six, 800 feet to be able to attach a buoy to my anchor lope and throw it over so that we can drift down and actually chase this fish. Because if I didn't throw the buoy, this fish would be long past 1,200 feet at this point. Um, she's been in at this, what, about 15 minutes, Avery, you think? Oh, long feels enough. like a, Feels like a half an hour. Feels like um, But now we're just kind of floating Danger. down to the fish and uh, hoping to uh, wrestle this thing up to the boat. Switching arms. Oh, he's only 400 feet away now. He's just relaxing right now. He's just waiting for you to give up. I'm not giving up. 200 now. Sounds like you just ran 200 yards. Not pretty much. Got to keep going now. He's getting close. Oh, he's so close. Okay, now you're in your tug of war. Oh, he's going again. Oh, I am so tired. 100 feet of line. It's not coming in. Oh, he's going under the boat. No, don't go under the boat. Ugh, don't go under the boat. Oh, my God, why is it bent? Look at the bend of the rod. Yep, just keep that rod low to the water. 170 feet. Every time you pull on him, he just gets angrier. He's not moving! Where's he going? Where? Under the boat, under the boat, under the boat. I hate this, man. You get in a circle. It's like they stay under the bow. All right, we got him now. He's wrong. He's Ooh, right there. Oh, I saw his tail. Here, here he oh, is. Holy cow! Holy! Oh, my God! It's huge! Okay, you need to buckle down and pull him towards us. Yep, reel back down. Reel down. Okay, back up. You gotta walk to the other side of the boat. Keep coming, just like that. Bring him right on in. Perfect, keep him coming. Okay, I got him. Yes! I need to still get him in the boat, but I got him. Oh my God! Oh my God! What do you think? Good job. Not bad for your first one. Just breathe. Don't forget to breathe. I can't speak. That's a pretty big one. Told you it was big. Wow, 35 inches of girth. Woo! That's long. He is 75 and an eighth. You broke my record. Good job. Holy cow! You broke my record. So we're out here. We're sturgeon fishing. Avery landed her first sturgeon. Um, she decided to break one of my personal records at 75 and an eighth. Um, the fish is 35 inches around with girth. Um, it's it's a prehistoric giant. I mean, this took her 45 minutes to land. And as you can see, the size of the fish compared to you, pretty big, eh? It's two times my size. Probably. You know, you, you could have started with a smaller one. You didn't have to go to this big one. Well, you go big or you go home, is what <laughs> they say. Apparently, you did just that. This is an absolute beautiful fish. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm estimating the weight right around over 130 pounds. Um, it, it's just a giant. Um, very, very nice first fish. Your first sturgeon ever. This is by far my personal best fish ever. I am freaking out right now. I just caught the biggest fish of my entire life. And thank you so much, Anthony. That was amazing.
amazing. I am freaking out right now. That was crazy. The fish was longer than me and bigger than me. That was awesome. Oh, let's go catch another one. There's a fish on that one right behind you. See it pulling back? Start reeling. Start reeling. Reel, reel faster, faster, faster. Got him. Pull it up. He's on there. I got one! Oh, he jumped! That is so cool! Phil is fighting hard, even though he's little. And your hook set was perfect. Thank you. So with these small fish, you gotta be very careful. They're very, very sharp. What do you mean they're very, very sharp? They're very sharp. They have what's called scoots. Uh, they run down along the side of their body. Uh, they're pretty much like razor blades. Really? Yeah. You'll see when I bring them in the boat here. He's small, but he ain't easy. No. See, this was what I was going to have you start with. <laughs> Whoa. That was quick for you. So here's a little one. Whoa, I see the scoots. See the, see the scoots? Those look very dangerous. These are very dangerous. That's why I'm wearing a glove. They got little barbs all the way down them. Now after a while, after several years, once these fish start getting to be about 50 inches, they'll start losing these scoots. Basically, um, from about this size as they get bigger, these scoots will start wearing off. They'll grow into their body, and from rubbing, from spawning, yeah. they'll slowly start grinding down. Just like you noticed on that big one, yeah. that big one didn't have any. As they get bigger, they'll lose them. Uh, mainly, this is for protection. Uh, if you're a if you're a bigger fish and you're trying to eat him, I mean, look at him. Would you want to try to grab that fish? No, thank you. Might you. do it once, but that might be your last time. Yeah. Um, I would not want to grab this fish. It is super pretty. But we're gonna go ahead and get this one released here, and uh, we're gonna try for another big one. I think we got another big one left in us tonight, so we'll get lines back out and uh, we'll get another bigger one hooked up. Cool. Great cool. job, you did all of that one all by yourself. Thank you. Set the hook, you reeled it in. Next time, guess what? You're gonna have to cradle something for me. Okay. I'll reel it in if you stick it in there. I'll try. All right. So, we got about an hour of daylight left, so we're reeling in the rods, and we're gonna, Anthony wants us to move to one quick spot before we run out of daylight and head in. See them, see them all in there now? Yeah. Seems like they start out here and they gradually, now there'll still be fish out here. There's still some fish you yeah, can see, see down them. there. But it seems like a lot of them, they start moving over. Now there's weeds. There's a weed line that's over here. A lot of times they'll move up in there and they feed around this time. But you can see how many less are there now and how many more are over here. Look at that. It's like a video game. Sturgeon, 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 sturgeon. That's a lot of sturgeon. But you can see how these fish have navigated. Look at the sturgeon, sturgeon. But right in here. Here, fishy, 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 fishy. All right, here we go. It's about to go down. Ready? Jaws. What and screams we... big fish more than this song? I don't think there is anything. <laughs> oh, one, one. Bite me, bite me, bite me, bite me, bite me. All right, Avery, I want you to reel in uh, any of them lines. Just start okay. reeling the longest one in. Yep, reel that one in first. Right in the jaws music, too. So I always do in short pumps, enough to do two reels. That's it. Oh, man. Is it a big one? Not as big as yours. You're going to have to put this one in the cradle. You know that, right? Uh-oh. OK, you want to pick that rod up for yeah. me? OK. Go to the middle of the boat. Now you're gonna go back this way. Okay. Put the rod back in the holder. Oh man, he's got other ideas. Oh. 
Where's he going? He's a fighter. Wow. All right, he's coming back over here. So I'm gonna bring him outside and come right to the boat with him. Okay. Say, so lower your right hand in the water and keep your left hand out. Oh. He's not ready yet. Oh. He's not liking the cradle. Little does he know we're just gonna take his picture and release him. Maybe give him a name. What do you think, Avery? You wanna name this one? Sure. I was thinking Bob. What do you think about Bob? Bob? Look at that, Sturge the Sturgeon. Sturge the Sturgeon sounds good to me. All right, we're gonna get a shot at him here. Oh my God. Hang on. Hang on, I'm trying to guide him for you. Okay, there we go. There we go. Goes up the cradle. Excellent job. Oh, that was hard. Oh. Whew. Oh. High five. I'm tired. My arm hurts. <laughs> the Jaws music does it all. It's the Jaws. So what I like to do when I get these fish in the boat is I kind of like to get down and I like to make sure they don't injure either themselves or somebody else. I don't put any pressure on them. I just keep them from going side to side. Lift up his nose. There's the hook. Usually you don't need pliers. They just pop right out nice and easy. No harm to the fish. Hey, we got about 51 inches. That is big. I'd just like to thank you so much, Anthony, for taking me out. I had a great time catching these prehistoric beasts. I hopefully we can come out again soon. I had so much fun. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was a pleasure having you out, and uh, I'm glad you got a big one. I'm glad you <laughs> broke my record. One thing I got to tell you, get your kids out fishing. Uh, it's a blast taking these kids out, especially catching these species. I'll tell you what, just to see the look on their face is priceless. Doesn't get no better, guaranteed. Okay, ready? One, two, two three. three. See ya, girl. Whoa! There she goes. Bye-bye. We're going right across the top of the water. That is so cool. <laughs> Excellent job. Is that another one? I got him. Whoa, that's cool. So we were just backing up the rods to go, and we saw that something was playing with this rod. We think it, it's a catfish. Ooh, whatever it is, if that's a catfish, it's pretty big. Oh my God, that is the biggest catfish I have ever caught. Look at the belly on him. He swallowed a beach ball. That is a big catfish. So, I caught a bonus fish. This has been an awesome day. Let's get this guy back into the water. Bye-bye. You could see him swim away, that was cool. Oh, my hands are so flat. So, recap of the day. Walleye, giant sturgeon, and a bonus catfish. Thank you so much, I had a great day. You're very welcome. It was a pleasure having you out. You were awfully, awfully nice. Thank you. And you toughed out that battle. That was, uh, that that was, was tiring. I got tired watching, I'm not gonna lie. Good job. Let's get home. <laughs>